Last summer they had this whole area dug up. I don't know what it looked like before, um, but they had like big trucks out here, like um, the diggers and stuff like that. And uh, they had these huge mounds of like piles of um, like dirt and stuff from where they were digging, excavating or whatever it was. And every time I drove by, I would come from this, this street right here, uh, go this way to um, go to Walmart or whatever other store I wanted to go to. And every time I would drive by, I would always feel like I should stop, like it was calling to me. Um, I just kind of felt like there was arrowheads, like, that I could have found in the dirt. Um, because the city that I live in um, is very well known for Native American, um, like, finding artifacts. Native Americans used to live uh, in this area and stuff like that. I'm not going to tell you the city that I live in, but our city is actually named um, named after... Well, I'm not going to give any more any more details. I want people knowing the exact city I live in. <laughs> but anyway, it's named after Native Americans and stuff like that. So, um, they had this area totally tore up. And then they put in, like, uh, grass seed. And when I finally stopped over here, I noticed there's all these sticks. Okay? All these sticks in the grass. You see them? I don't know where they came from why they're here I tried to google like if you um if you put the sticks in the ground I don't know if it had something to do with wanting the grass to grow maybe they didn't want animals to come over here I don't know I thought maybe it was like holding the straw because it had a lot of straw down um maybe so if the wind blew or whatever it wouldn't blow it away as much but anyway this area just kept calling to me and stuff and uh you can see that they put in they put in all these uh, stones because I don't remember these stones being here before but you can tell there was a creek here at one point or I mean it's still kind of there but they've I don't really know exactly what they're doing you can see the bugs are finally getting bugs everything's starting to come back alive again but if you look down here there's um, a little sewage area that they put in and um, I'm not really for sure. I wish I would have known what this area looked like before they came in and started doing whatever they did. But if you can see this whole entire area, this is a huge mystery to me. Why all these sticks are here? I mean, there's got to be some sort of a reason, right? I mean, they're literally... I'm sorry, I'm standing on the rocks. I didn't want to fall. But they're they're everywhere. You know, and I wonder if it has something to do with the uh, um, with the straw and the grass that they put down the grass seed. I don't know. It's just so weird to me. If anybody has ever seen anything like this before, let me know. Um, if you have any idea why this has been done. You can hear the geese going overhead. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this area because it's, like I said, it's always called to me, uh, whenever I was driving by it and stuff. It doesn't, since they flattened it out, um, since they flattened it out and now it's just grass here, it's not, I don't know, it's not really calling to me anymore, but I just kind of wanted to get everybody's, uh, input and ideas on why, why all these sticks could be here, because it's, See how they have this stuff down here? There was like, I don't know if you can see it, but this plastic stuff to hold down the um, the straw and stuff that they had on here. Uh, and I don't know if maybe those sticks were placed there. Let me see here. See, you can pull one out. It's not, it's not growing. It's just literally a stick here. Unless, do you guys think whenever it starts to become spring, will these things like come alive? They're trying to regrow? Because I do see... See, there's a little greenery on that. So something is trying to grow. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on this? It's really 
every time I drive by it, I just always wonder what is going on here. But they're they're literally everywhere. And I'm hoping that they're planning on coming back and getting this, unless it's biodegradable. See, it's literally just plastic stuff that they've used to hold hold down the um the straw and whatnot. I was like, oh, there's a rock there. Melinda would like that. And then I'm like, no, it's just a piece of foam. Just trash. But anyway, let me know what y'all think. I'm going to pan the area again so you get an idea of what it looks like. I really wish I would have listened. Um, I don't know if it was spirit that was guiding me here or... I don't know, I just heard ancestors possibly something. Um, I don't know, like I felt like I was supposed to come over here. I probably could have found some arrowheads, some uh, Melinda finds Native American pottery. I don't know if you guys have seen any of her videos. Um, if you're not familiar with her or her channel, make sure you go over there and um, subscribe to her. <clears throat> her name is uh, False Teeth Real Tarot. And she has tons of videos on rocks and all different kinds of things that she she does. There's a little Canadian goose over there. We get a lot of Canadian geese in this area. I live in Ohio, by the way. I know I've said that on my, um, the Robin video that I did earlier. But in case y'all didn't see that. Alrighty. Well, let me know what you guys think about these sticks. They're, it's still... I still want to know what's going on. It's driving me nuts. Alright. Well, y'all have a great night. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great morning if you're watching this. And it's morning time. I don't know. I know there's people all over the world and stuff, so... Alright. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.